The committee will come to order. The chair recognizes himself for an opening statement. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's legislative hearing on proposals that represent the bread and butter of our jurisdiction on the safety and consumer products and services our constituents rely on. I want to thank all the bill sponsors with legislation on our agenda today, and we got quite a few. Uh, I appreciate all their work aimed to help save lives and protect consumers from dangerous products, provide transparency regarding event tickets and lodging accommodations, disclose important information to consumers related to product claims, and raise awareness about the information and tools needed to get their vehicles repaired. I'm particularly excited to be moving forward with the Ticket Act, a bill that I've sponsored along with my colleague and friend, Ranking Member Schakowsky, that will bring upfront price transparency to consumers as it relates to event tickets. Live event tickets have long been plagued by hidden fees at the end of the checkout transaction, but I'm glad that the industry has recognized the need to change the process to bring ticket price transparency to the market. In the other chamber, in the Senate Commerce Committee, bipartisan companion legislation sponsored by my friends, Senator Cruz and the chair, Senator Cantwell, has moved out of committee. We're going to get this done. I'm certainly mindful of a broader discussion, though, on other consumer harms to address, which is why we have included discussion draft on the docket today that addresses the issue of speculative ticketing. I look forward to diving into these proposals further and to continuing my partnership with Ranking Member Schakowsky on this particular initiative. A few additional bills that I want to give a special acknowledgement uh, to is uh, Representative Wasserman Schultz and Dr. Burgess's pool safety reauthorization, Dr. Bouchon's draft on cleaning product labeling, and Representative Curtis's reinforcing American Made Products Act. Representative Washington Schultz and Dr. Burgess's Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Safety Reauthorization Act will provide a state and local governments, uh, it will provide state and local governments with assistance for education, training, and enforcement of pool safety requirements. This program, which is named in memory of Virginia, who drowned while entrapped by a hot tub drain in 2002 and was enacted into law in 2008, has been well administered by CPC, CPSC. I look forward to reauthorizing uh, this program again. I'm also pleased we will be able to discuss Representative Bouchon's proposal on ingredient labeling for cleaning products. This draft will ensure that we have one consistent and clear standard on cleaning product uh, ingredient labels throughout the country. Consumers should know exactly what to expect when they purchase their favorite disinfectant, scrubbing spray, or other supplies needed to clean their homes. That shouldn't change if they cross state lines. We also cannot overlook Representative Curtis's bill, H.R. 5556, the Reinforcing American Made Products Act, which will ensure that we have one national standard for Made in America labels on American products. This common sense measure provides certainty for businesses, manufacturers, and consumers alike to ultimately ensure we keep our incentives to companies to make their products here at home. I know this has uh, historically been a bipartisan initiative, and I hope, I'm very hopeful it will remain that way so as we go forward. As anyone who remembers the old schoolhouse rock video, and I do remember it, uh, just a bill, right? On how a bill becomes law, there are a lot that uh, don't ultimately make it to the finish line. So, yeah, I'm old enough to remember that one. Uh, so, again, some of these proposals are surely ready for prime time, while others are not. But this hearing represents an important step to review these bills, find areas for improvement and consensus, and move forward through the regular, regular order. Uh, and uh, I look forward to the discussion, and again, thank you to uh, our panelists for their testimony, which will be begin soon, and I'll yield back the balance of my time if I have any left. Thank you very much, and now I'm going to uh, recognize the gentlelady from Illinois, my friend, 
Ms. Schakowsky for her five minutes for an opening statement. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. And today I 